My name is Friedrich Karlström. I'm the Minister of Trade and Industry here in the Åland Islands. Actually, I'm also a Minister of Agriculture, Fishery, Labour Market, Tourism and Digitalization also. And I would like to welcome you so much to this special edition of the Agile Islands 2020. I'm sorry to say that most of us cannot meet in person, even though the borders has opened to Åland, especially from Sweden, so all my Swedish friends welcome over to this beautiful island. Uh, but for the ones of you that's not able to be here right now with us, uh, I'm glad that this online edition is being produced. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what's gonna happen today and I'm also gonna tell you about my way of thinking and being and acting agile. Can you be agile in a political environment? For sure you can be it as an entrepreneur, you can be it in business and you can be it in your personal life, but can you be it in a political organization? Well, I think so. And I think also the last six months have proved me right. But before I start talking about that and tell you about what this day is going to be like and all the great seminars you can jump in and jump out and jump back to and uh, listen also to this spectacular uh, keynote speak this afternoon. But before that, uh, I want to show you just one minute clip about this uh, beautiful island that I call my home and I hope you will come and visit and then after you've been here I hope you realize that there's no better place to live and work and be in than in Holland Island. So one minute clip from Holland, uh, then I'll be back at my office and uh, see you then. Emerging from the deep blue Baltic, thousands of islands speckle the Nordic waters. Picturesque, pristine, and untouched. A sweeping archipelago forged through the millennia. A gift of nature. Man and Earth in perfect harmony. Discover the Holland Islands. Rediscover yourself. Holland is beautiful, isn't it? But you know what? It's a great place to visit, but it's an even better place to work and live and be the best you can be. So next time you're thinking about moving to a great place, think about Holland. We have so many great companies here that you can work for. Agile is the concept for many of them. And if you don't want to work for someone, well, come here and start your own. But I'm not going to talk too much about Åland and all the great features of Åland today. We're going to talk about what's why we're here and we're here to uh, learn, to, do, to know more about Agile being, thinking and acting. And uh, I want to show you the great uh, speakers we have today. You're going to meet these uh, speakers from uh, all over the world. And uh, if you want to read more about them, go into agileisland.ax and there you can also find the schedule for today. Uh, so agileisland.ax. But I'm also gonna talk to you some about my way of being agile. Can you be agile in a political environment like I am right now? My background is as an entrepreneur and small business owner. And, and I think that's more or less agile by nature if you run your small business or you are an entrepreneur. But can you be that in a political organization? Well, I think so. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So before I officially open up this special edition of the Agile Island 2020, I would like to talk to you a little bit about my way of thinking, being and acting agile. Have I learned anything from being a small business owner and entrepreneur and uh, have I brought it into this political organization? Well, I think so. Uh, I have some uh, slides I would like to show you, see if this works. 
So what's agile for me? Well, first of all, I think it's about being in a constant forward movement. You know, just do things instead of planning of doing things. Skip the 1,000 pages of business plans or the strategic documents that you think you need. Go ahead and just start. That's the first thing. The second thing I think is to have a positive attitude. You know, be happy and positive, attracts happy and positive people, and you're gonna have more fun together. Two great things to start with of being agile. And don't be afraid of failure because you're gonna do a lot of mistakes and you're gonna do a lot of things wrong. But the good thing about that is you learn so much on the way. So just do more things and uh, more things will happen. So how does this work in a political organization? Or does it? Well, maybe usually no. Uh, everything takes time, takes years, and everything is planned from start to finish. But when you go into a, a situation like we've been the last six months, a small virus from China is turning everything upside down. We have to have digital meetings that we never had before. We have to have the fast decisions like we've never done before. And, and it worked. Uh, and I think this is something we're going to have to bring with us in the future. We don't have to plan for everything. We can adapt along the way and change. 16th of March, Finland closed down the borders and closed down the country. And what is that going to mean for a self-governed region like Holland? Well, nobody knew. There were no book to read about how to handle a crisis like this. So what did we do? Well, first of all, we called up our three banks. We called up the business organizations and we called up the union. And we sat down around the table and said, let's act and act fast. 16th of March, uh, lockdown. 24th of March, we have the biggest budget on the parliament table that's ever been created in all on history. And the 31st of March, the first decisions were made here in the government that made sure our companies had the money to continue and not go bankrupt. But it was agile all the way. And thanks to all the people in this building and to the organizations out there, we did this great together. So three questions I usually ask myself when I'm agile and bringing the agile way of thinking into this political organization. Also, I say, say to all my coworkers, is it illegal? Will someone die? Will my life, uh, wife leave me? If the answer is no to that, just go ahead. And another uh, great uh, inspiration of mine is this lady, Grace Hopper. If you don't know who she is, go into Wikipedia or Google her name. And uh, she was an incredible woman. But she always said, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to get permission. So two ladies I admire and follow, Pippi Longstrump and Grace Hopper. Do like they done and you're going to be great. Thank you for listening to my short advice of being agile. I don't know if you learned anything about it. I definitely know you're going to learn so much about the excellent speakers we're going to hear today. So thanks again for being in my office with me. And now we're going to go to the... Uh, location where we're supposed to be today but i hope to see you next year on the agile islands 2021 when all on island is turning 100 years and we're going to celebrate 100 good years that we had and we're going to look forward to the next coming 100 years and i hope you're going to be a part of that so uh, join me uh, we're going to take a special ride to alandica convention center With these few words and this short film, I would like to welcome you so much to this special edition of the Agile Islands 2020. And I hope to see you here at Alandica next year. Have a real great day, learn a lot and be agile.